Welcome to the Robotics Lab at the School of Computer Science and Engineering. I'm Raymond Shea, Robotics PhD student. A day in the life of such a student and the robot she is working on is surprising, <laughs> enlightening, and sometimes extremely frustrating. This is our latest project. It's a rescue robot. The team has been working on it for the last few years. Our aim is to create a robot that can be used for search and rescue. It will be able to enter a disaster site, say after an earthquake or landslide, search for survivors and map the site for the human rescuers to follow. One of the biggest challenges is teaching it to drive itself autonomously over rough terrain. So we have created this variable obstacle course in the lab where the robot can be tested over a wide range of scenarios. And sometimes we take the robot out around the university grounds and test it on different textures and environments. Essentially, we are teaching it to think for itself. One way we do this is by recording everything that a human does and sees when operating the robot with a joystick. We then use this information to teach the robot how the human thinks when doing this task. So in essence, the robot learns to operate autonomously. Without human assistance. The robot sees its world with cameras and other sensors and uses what it has learned to mount the search and rescue. As with all research, things don't always go to plan. Today we're troubleshooting a communications problem with the robot. Looks like we've got a bit of a configuration problem in uh, a few places, so um, we're just having a look and seeing what we can do about it. The pressure is on, because in a couple of months we are taking the robot to Austria to compete against other teams from around the world in the International RoboCup Rescue Robot League competition. We hope that our team will have achieved the best technological innovations in decision making and learning.